Hey gang, today we're going to do Clapton's secret turnaround lick. Do you know that lick? Well, it's actually not very secret because not only Clapton, but other British blues greats of the time, of the 60s, used it quite often. You'll hear Clapton using it on Crossroads, as well as Key to the Highway on Derek and the Domino's album Layla. And you'll hear Peter Green use it on songs like Stumble. So it's really not a secret lick at all. But I'm surprised at how few people use it or know it. So today we're gonna cover it because it's easy and it just works great. It tells everybody, I know how to play over the turnaround. I know how to play to the rest of the band. I'm not just wailing on a scale. So it's a great one to put in your arsenal. We'll cover it in just a sec. If this is your first time to the channel or if you're a veteran viewer, don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and click that bell. All right, well, let's get down to this right away because you'll be able to apply this today. It's really simple. And in fact, stick around to the end of the video because I give two examples of applying it to a 12 bar blues. Now our example is gonna be a 12 bar blues in A, but it's completely movable. And I mentioned that Clapton uses this in Key to the Highway, that's an eight bar blues. So it's obviously also applicable elsewhere. In fact, it's just a great all purpose lick for turnarounds. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the 12 bar blues in A. We've got the one chord is an A. The four chord is a D, the five chord is an E, and these can all be dominants. I'm playing dominant sevens here. The turnaround section is like this. We've got an E, D, A, and then we'll go up to the E. And then we're back to the one for the rest of the blues. So it's really at that part right there, that A to the E. That's the turnaround, that's where we're going to apply this lick. All right, here is the lick. It is so, so simple. All you do is you play the root of that E chord. So you play an E, and usually it goes like this. That's pretty much the simplest one. So it kind of sounds like this. Now there's different variants about it, but that's the simplest one. You go from the E and you drop down an octave to the lower E, hitting it right before you get to that E chord. So. Now, as I said, Clapton used it in Crossroads. You can hear him play like this. Right? That's that lick right there. And because it comes down on that E, it's as clear as a bell that you're playing to that chord. Now, let me show you a couple of variations because it can get a little bit boring playing the same. So how do you spice that up a little bit? Well, I just gave you an idea there. You just play maybe extra notes. That's one way to do it. And maybe a little different time. But that's kind of a super simple one. Here are a couple of different things. I have found that this lick is particularly powerful if you use the notes of the A chord to get to the E. I'll show you what I mean. So if we finger the notes of an A chord, we find that we have an E in it here and here. So I can go down descending the notes of an A chord when I go from this E to this low E. That's an example of using this. Likewise, I can do, I can skip notes too. That's kind of cool. Or that's kind of different too. So you'll notice I didn't have to use all the notes of the A chord, I could just use a couple. Works great. Here's one of Clapton's favorites. In fact, he uses it in Crossroads. Go from the minor third of the A, which is a C right here, to the major third of an A, up to the E, and then down. So, like so. Oh yeah, that is, that's a good one. And you can combine those two effects at all. Sounds good. The key is to hit that E at the right time. 
one last way I'll tell you how to do it, and that is to change up where you hit it. These aren't the only two E's on the entire fretboard. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. You know, I've got lots of E's all over the place, and so I can use this one. For example, I can go from this E to this E. That works right there. Or how about this? That works as well. I use the trick of going down an A chord. Here's an A chord right here. Right, that's an A. So, or all of those are fair game. So now I'm gonna do a demo and I'll show you actually in a 12 bar blues, two different ways you can do that. First, I'm going to try and use just the standard right there and then I'll try and do it up here as well. Well, there you go, Eric Clapton's secret turnaround lick. Now it's no longer a secret to you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click the like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe and click that bell, and we will see you on down the road.